Most products will fail during the product life for various reasons. The approaches to repair each product can differ. On the one hand, the producing company or a third party can earn money for repairing the product. On the other hand, the product using customers can fix any problems for themselves. In that case, they invest their own time and any costs for spare parts and tools. In this session we will have a look at these two different approaches and the connections to the product design. Large, complex or hazardous equipment is mostly repaired by companies for obvious reasons. Such products are hard to repair for a consumer as there is a high risk of damaging the product or making a repair which can lead to a future failure. The same is valid for hazardous products because their operation and maintenance can be dangerous or lead to safety concerns. Examples for such products which are mainly repaired by service companies including elevators and escalators, power tools or washing machines within a household. With many products which are often repaired by a company, there are things the customer can fix for themselves. For example, let us look at an automobile. It is possible to repair some parts like a light bulb, windshield wiper or minor paintwork repair. Other parts have to be repaired by experts who know the systems which may be safety critical or need very specialized equipment such as the braking system, fuel system or electronic ignition system. With the right modular approach it is possible to design equipment in such a way that the consumer can repair it by simply changing modules or parts. Unfortunately, some products are designed in a way that repair is not an option. Despite the huge possibilities of keeping valuable products in use for longer, there is a powerful monetary mon motivation to design a product so it cannot be repaired. It is broken? Please buy a new one! The risk, however, arises that the consumer begins to distrust such products because they fail so easily. When the product fails, it is taken to a recycling station or, in the worst case, simply dumped. Then, to get a greater or lesser degree, the parts in value will be lost. Consumers are the ones who decide by their purchasing choices. A household product is not automatically outdated after two years. A coffee machine can still have an efficient boiling unit and produce a decent cup of coffee. But what when it becomes broken? What to do? Repair it or buy a new one? Perhaps there is an evolution in the product and a new purchase is sought. Perhaps there is a new system that allows the coffee machine to interact with your smartphone. It can start to make coffee when you are on your way home. You want that feature and you will most likely buy a new product. Sadly, the old machine is condemned to end up in the waste stream unless it is repairable. If it is repairable, you can either repair it yourself and sell it on, or you can sell the broken machine for a low price and the new buyer can save money and repair it themselves. They are then in possession of a machine that still produces decent coffee for a low cost. Great, right? At this point it is easy to understand the circular economy butterfly diagram. Design for repair is an excellent strategy and reuse is even better. If you could upgrade your coffee machine easily, due to a modular design, but could be the best case and lead to a very long product life. But let's take a look on how a design for repair can be interesting for companies. First of all, designing a product for repair 
will help the environment and also improve the company's reputation. The business models will of course differ from a linear take-make-use-waste model. Money is made with service by selling spare parts and upgrades. The customer will see that paying for a service and repair can be cheaper than a regularly buying new products. The company will sell product updates both for soft and hardware and decrease the need for growth by only selling more new products. Of course, a company, there's no guarantee that this always works, but it's worth exploring. Each journey starts with a small step. Most machines are not obsolete or outdated after a couple of years of use. Designed for repair can lead to significant positive outcomes.